So, um, yeah, the city plan is a, it's, it's like a master plan, really, isn't it, for the, for the city? So, um, you know, but why? Uh, how, how can people get involved in it? I know there's a consultation, isn't there, up until the end of October? Yeah, so um, we have the city plan part two uh, online available, so people can uh, look at it there, and then you can respond to the consultation either in writing, uh, via email, or online. Um, it, we also have, usually we have um, copies in libraries, but because of COVID-19, we can't do that this time. Yeah. So what we do instead is if, if someone wants a paper copy they can contact us and we're, we're happy to send out a paper copy and um, we have also uh, increased the consultation period a bit uh, to kind of uh, make up for the difficulties that uh, arise from COVID um, so people have until uh, end of October to, to yeah. uh, comment on on all the policies set out in city plan part yeah. two and if they if they go online they can find all the details can't they and it's, it's a big there's kind of it's the map the main documents is map isn't it kind of with a, lots of detail in it yeah we have the policy document itself where all the policies are written down and then we have lots of maps uh, to to show um the development areas and and um everything else yeah okay and and just before we finish up then i mean with the city plan, I mean, what what are the next steps for it? You have the consultation, and then and then when when's it fully finalised? Um, so we're we're hoping to uh, submit it uh, for for final approval uh, next year, uh, spring, and um, yeah, and then we have to wait for the planning inspector, the governance planning inspector, to um, kind of give us the okay and approve the plan.